I'm Laura and I'm a part of, a, of an interning project called Young Scientists Working Together. So it's a project that regroups uh, different students from various nationalities. For instance, I'm working with uh, Italian and Spanish students. So together we talk about, uh, we work about COVID-19 and the issues that surround it. For instance, my group, we worked on uh, the measures that can be taken to contain the spread of the virus. And uh, we worked on subjects, subjects such as contact tracing or the R factor. And at the end, we will make also an infographic to, to show the results of our research. Our idea is to show the, the text and then we simply are doing a three diagram. The percent of teams to have a good grade uh, with regular basis is uh, zero point uh, eight three. Okay. okay. Um, so we know already that the percent of teams to have a bad grade is. What do you think of DNL math? Uh, I think DNL math is a really interesting subject. It has allowed me to learn a lot of new terms and a lot of uh, new ways of learning. And I think it's a really interesting subject. Is it difficult for someone who does not so mathematics? Uh, no. Well, it's a bit difficult, but it's possible to do it because it, the exercises aren't from this year. They're stuff that we've done in second. So it's just a different terms in English you need to learn, but the maths isn't that difficult. The roots of the function, you need to find delta before. And to find big delta, you need to put b on square uh, minus 4 times uh, a times c. Um, this is b, this is a, this is uh, c. Let's go. <laughs>